All right, everybody, it's time for the Studying Brew, episode 390. We are coming to you live from Southern California for this episode. We are going to have a never know what you're going to get Monday, and it's going to be fun. You ready, Brando? It's I don't know what to say. It's zany. I don't know. Too much. How's everybody doing tonight? Is everybody doing fantastic? I see Justin. Awesome and amazing! Awesome. What what was that? <laughs> oh my god! It, it's it's that mom spooky, you know, and mom. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. That's legit. What that is. Right. Oh, very good, yeah. very good. I missed you guys. How are you? I'm doing we well, thank you. you. <laughs> We've added a pumpkin since you've been gone. And they look fantastic. Is that one ceramic? Yes, it is. It's actually, uh, it's a uh, clay that, that Mex uh, they're making in Mexico. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, but it, it's actually pretty rad. And then, uh, next one, I'll put it over. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right on. Where'd you get it? Oddly enough, got it at the zoo. Oh, even better. San Diego, they, they, they get it from uh, the local areas and they go. Brought it in and right on. Oh, that's even better. My God. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I took advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Right on. So I told you I had I told you I went to Vegas for the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. So I went to Vegas for a reason. Come here. Oh, did you get a doggy? Yes, I have a new addition here. She's right here and she's all messed up. She is it was someone's dog. My buddy is a, a estimator for Zillow and he went into the house and I don't know why they started talking, but the guy goes, oh yeah, that one's going to the pound. He was moving and he goes, that one's going to the pound. Yeah, and he's gonna send her to the pound. And my buddy says, no, no, don't do that. He goes, I'll find someone to take her. He called me, I said, oh my God, of course I'll take her. So she is, she's purebred, believe it or not. She's a little Yorkie, but you can't see her because she has, I don't think she's ever been groomed. She's three years old, she stinks. I gave, I've given her three baths and I just got her last night. Oh, it's probably her but, diet. And she needs to be on a diet, and she also needs a haircut because she can't even see poor little thing. We'll, we'll, we'll give you some tips on some good food. Yeah, I'll text you. Okay, okay, cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But her name's Bailey, and she's just a little sweetheart. She's you know, kind of kind of freaking out, but um, but not bad. She's been she's been pretty good. So there, there's my new addition. Hey, you needed a Bailey, and you love a good hot mess, so you're good. Absolutely. <laughs> We are perfect for one another. <laughs> oh my God, yes. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, just wanted to share that. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. You got it. Hey, I. Anyways. All right, everybody. Let's get this show going for you to get some <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for being here. This is the Studying Brew episode 390. Uh, As you can tell, we are uh, we're we're a family around here. We not only just get our studying on, but I like to say that we uh, we like to know our students. We like to know you guys. We like to definitely uh, be invested in you as much as you're invested in us. So, uh, and you guys do matter to us. So it is awesome to 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 see Justin and his new lady in his life. I determined I'm taking one of these. Basically? No, we're not. So anyways, that's a different deal. Anyways, uh, no, Conan, Conan is too much. He's not a cute little Bailey. He's a total pain in the butt. Uh, but anyways, uh, no, but guys, uh, I just want to throw out there one. Uh, we need to have some prayers and uh, healing for uh, Anthony's brother. Anthony is one of the guys that's on here all the time. He got all his licenses with us, SIE 6 and uh, mm -hmm. 63. He's getting mm -hmm. his 26. His mm -hmm. wife's going for the SIE, mm -hmm. but his brother's in the hospital in a bad way. It's not, well, actually, he sounds like he did had a great day today, okay. but uh, keep the prayers going. Power of prayer. Yes. Get his brother pulled through this. Uh, I'm not going to reveal what the issues are for those that hold up. Okay, but I just want you to know he just he definitely needs some healing. Mm -hmm. And Olympia, uh, she's going through some stuff medically. And uh, we got some other students that are going through some some heavy times. So just definitely keep the prayers and for all of the people on here, the Kona family guys. 
uh, you know. Yes. Yeah, it's for us, it's not about, you know, vaccine, not vaccine and all this anger. We're just all about positivity mm-hmm. and just want you guys to stay healthy, be good, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. just live good lives. That's yes. it. What, I mean, what's wrong with that? Right? Yeah. We all agree on that. Just, what's, what's spreading positivity and love? Right, exactly. And being healthy and everybody just, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, all right. Well, yes. So prayers out to them. Um, Pedro, who got his watch. Pedro Gonzalez, who spoke last week about passing his 63 and being fully licensed, got his watch, 50K, uh, and is uh, ready to get his RVP contract next month. Uh, Guy's crushing it. As you guys saw, I don't know what his latest numbers were, but I think it was like 89 by 57 last week. So I'm only assuming that it's like improving since then. Mm -hmm. So definitely doing all that he can to get that contract. So definitely shout out to him, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Omar Gomez, one of of our students, he got all his license through us, got Mm -hmm. married. Mm -hmm. So what can I say? It's been an active uh, weekend for a lot of people. Congratulations and prayers to everyone. (laughs) Right? Yeah. I don't know what else to sum it up. Uh, 2665ers on our members, man. You guys got all kinds of new stuff. I dropped some more stuff today. I hope you guys like the new 65 stuff I dropped today. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, so I am going to uh, finish up my 26 quest. And then the SIE, I've already decided is going to be the next uh, one that I'm, I'm knocking out. Yeah. And then we're going to be moving on. So guys, member stuff is only getting better, way easier, yeah. a lot more simplified, yeah. even better to use than ever before. Uh, I know we dropped that a lot in the American world. You know, it's a bombshell. Never been better. All those things, never been better. Um, but yeah, so... Mm-hmm. And uh, shout out to all our members. Thank you guys for making this happen. Thank you for all you guys signing up, being members, getting this thing done. And uh, we have been on a hot streak of getting people yes. licensed. We got the passer almost every single day. Yes. So, whew, Woo. man, Hi. good news, right? But if we're getting passers, it's only a matter of time, just the amount of numbers that you guys will get yours too. So keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. And uh, I just want to say... Um, There is, uh, what do I want to say? Be careful of imitations, guys. Oh, yes. There is some imitators coming for us. They have uh, seen our ways and have now started imitating the ways that we do things. So uh, be careful. Uh, But uh, there's only one and only, there's only one cone of butterflies. And uh, I will just say this right now. There is nobody out there who's going to care as much about you as we do. I mean that. And there's nobody out there who is going to do whatever it takes to help you if you let us. So please let us. And we're the only study prep out there that modifies their system to make sure that we are up to date and have the latest stuff and is getting you the latest news of what's on the exam as it breaks. We are not tied to capital. This is our own stuff, guys. And uh, the only thing we use from Kaplan or anybody else is their Cubank. Because mom and pop, a- yeah, mom and dad <laughs> over here ain't got that yet. money yet <laughs> to do our own Cubank. Yes. But we will as soon as we can. That's right, Jenny. And uh, if you guys, if you guys are happy with us, and if you guys are uh, happy with our service, our members, our free or whatever, please spread the word. Uh, please let people know. Just let people know that what we do over here and how we work. Uh, we have it all, all different uh, ways, you know, free and the paid. And uh, just spread the word. Just that's all I ask. We don't do any advertising. We work on your recommendations and advertisement. I'll tell you right now, we might be in primary, but they don't send us anybody. Uh, they're in. We aren't tied to anybody that's uh, making us sign any contracts. In fact, we've been offered money to sell. We've been offered money to uh, change our ways, and uh, we've refused checks because it's not the way we want to do it. And so, and the way we want to do it has always been about you guys. Yeah. And uh, sometimes the money in front of you doesn't mean the best way. And Brandy and I will stick to whatever works best for you guys to get a pass. Okay. So that's what we do, and that's it. So yeah, it's not about money for us because we've been offered the money. We've been offered the check. They've gotten the book out. They said no, thank you. Uh, Because that's not what we're about. So please keep us going. Uh, Advertise for us. (laughs) Uh, Just spread the good news if you're happy. And uh, we'll just keep doing the good works that we do. And making it better. 
Yeah. And let us know if there's anything else we can do. I mean, it's very rare. It's pretty much Kona and Legos, which is our discussion here at this house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the dog. No butterflies. Yeah, no butterflies. Yeah, yeah, pretty much it. <sighs> oh man! All right, so let's get this show on the road, Brandy. Let's get the the advertisement out of the way so we can get to what everybody showed up for. Ooh, and there's in the news. And in the news, ooh, special. Misha loves in the news. She let us know. It's news stuff. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And I will be getting to that podcast idea, you know, and working on that. But I wanted to make sure that our Patreon, our membership, members yeah. area stuff needed that's to be essential. tightened up and needed to be better. So I'm getting that done first because that's top priority is making sure that you guys are passing. Yeah. All the other stuff is on the side. Yeah. So I got to make sure our, our main meal is good. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Who cares about the bread if the steak's bad? So I got it. So that's I'm true. making sure that I'm well, making wait. sure the main course is good. Well, you're an exception. You're a weirdo. <laughs> Uh, but the main course has got to be yeah. good, right? Yeah. Nobody shows up for the bread on the table. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, so that is if you want to join us, guys. There's that the nice QR code there. Scan it. Gives you links to everything that is Kona. It gives you the online course. It gives you the orientation where we explain all our Kona ways, including a replay, so you don't have to be on a Wednesday at 9 p.m. Pacific at the end of the month or the beginning of the month. No, you can just watch the replay now and just get going. Get started, navigate, shows you how to get started. The whole thing, all on there, just scan that QR code and then you're in like Flynn. And uh, you can get our study guide there. You can you see our website. All that stuff is right there in that QR code. So just join us on that link and uh, get in on those kind of ways. We do have that whole membership area I was talking about. We have those study guides available, for separate costs. You don't have to be a member to have those. We have the SIE and the Series 6. They're $20, they're eBooks, and you can print them out. We also have the Kona community, which is a message board. It's on Discord, but the only way in is KonaButterflies.com. Again, scan the QR code. It'll direct you to that website, uh, KonaButterflies.com. And then you just get on that message board page and click the link. I'll make it easier soon. I'm working on it. Um, but you can get in on message board. It's 24-7 study hall. You can ask questions, leave questions. You can message Brandy directly. Although, be aware, it does take her more than, you know, an hour to get back to you. It's, it's a good 24 hours. So if you are needing a quick response, I would tag her on one of the pages and then also leave it out there for many of our amazing students that are still on the message board yeah like elvira who right. is fully licensed has her uh, 65 and sometimes pops in to answer a few questions or crystal there's like there's do we have people on that are fully licensed guys and they help out all the time like i saw eric he has his you know uh, sie yeah. and series six and he was in there popping in there and helping out with the sie so yeah. guys the, the reason why we have it set up the way it is if you're helping people out like Mish, who's studying for the SIE, you know, she's doing it to help people out because she's not only helping them, but she's helping herself by teaching and, and, and learning the stuff. If you can explain it to somebody else, that means that you have it down. You know what I mean? If you're able to teach it to someone else, that's learning. That's being able to know that you got it down too. So the ability to do that and uh, have that ability on there on that message board is so key in your learning um, journey. So make sure you get in on that. Um, also, we have the text reminders that are free. Text Kona to that 888 number there, and I will text you out, text uh, messages out to remind you to get your study on. Um, I don't know what it is, but we have a lot of people like unsubscribing. I shouldn't say a lot, a lot of people unsubscribe. I shouldn't say that. It's like crazy. But I noticed there was like a few this week, and I'm like, whoa, what happened? I think it's because finally, I think they're not on the studying game anymore. I think people are uh, getting off the track because, you know, work, uh, people are, you know, getting, uh, becoming employees or they had to go back to work or one of those things. Guys, even if you're going back to work, don't stop studying. Don't stop doing this financial business. I'm telling you guys, if anything you've learned in this pandemic, one thing is, is you need to have your side hustle. There's no such thing as like, you know, job security anymore. I don't want to be grim about it, but it, you know, things can change. But more importantly, even if you have a great job, you have a fantastic career, this is one license that can help you throughout your entire life and manage your money and manage your family's money. You can actually have an education in, you know, the th one thing that we need, right? Teach your kids, teach your kids, your friends' kids. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. So it's make sure true. you get this license. Don't, don't give up yeah and guys if you are making the switch to homeschool guess what there are times when your kids have to independently work for 20 minutes or so 
Yeah, I hope you guys are letting them work independently. Don't be helping That's your a, kids through school like that. It's a great quiz. They gotta learn. Time. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's good. So yeah, if you are gonna be doing that with your kids and you're gonna stay home and study, um, or they're gonna stay home and do school, do your study. Yeah, study with them. Shoot, it's the one job you can do from home for sure. sure. Zoom world, man. Yeah. It has expanded this business like crazy. Yeah. It has. So uh, get in on that and have your license licenses. It's mm -hmm. it, you can't. I don't know. I I just I don't know what to say. Do it. Just do it. <laughs> I think my new my actual new thing that I like and I told you I last night is get out before you give up yeah I, I learned that from uh, the wonder years I like that the new get out years. yeah the new one. get out before you give up uh basically basically just get out there and you know do something before you give up yeah right get out there mm -hmm. so uh that's my new one I like it so I like it too all right but if you need some uh information about our membership area all that stuff 866-HEY-KONA 866-439-5662 you can leave me a voicemail Give me a text message and I'll help you out the best I can. I was a busy man today with that. A lot of a lot of phone calls, a lot of text messages, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, give me a call. Yeah, it's funny because people ask me about something. I'm like, I don't know. I haven't had a conversation with Brandy, even though she's like right here. It's funny. Anyways, uh, yeah, but if you need to ask Brandy something about content or what have you, uh, do that on the message board. Text her directly or message her directly. Like I said, it's not a one-hour response like me. It is more like a 24-hour response. She gets about 300 messages every morning when she wakes up, so it takes her a minute to go through them. But plus, I them. plus she doesn't be like be she does not like to get rushed through your messages. She likes to read them, give them a little care, answer properly. Um, and do that. Yeah, and guys, if you send me like a couple of messages and you want me to respond to one of them, I will respond to that one and probably not remember to respond to the other ones. So I choose to go like in order of urgency type of thing. <laughs> like if your test dates this week. If your test sense. dates this week, right, exactly. Because we do get so many messages, but I don't want you guys to not text me because you think I'm too busy. I would rather just, you know, work through what you guys need to have connected instead of you guys not messaging. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, you some people like to think in, uh, what do I want to say, fragmented sentences. Mm -hmm. They like to send their messages like, hi, Brandy, send. Yeah. I was doing a test today, send. I have an exam <laughs> on some, and at the end of the month, send. Put that first thing. <laughs> like, hi, Brandy, test. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so just we wait for all those messages to come in and then respond. Yeah. yeah. So that we make sure we get the whole story. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Anyways. All right. all right. So that's how that works. Yeah. All right. Also, we have a reminder for our live sessions tomorrow. We have the SIE starting at 7 a.m. in Hawaii. So RT, we expect to see you there at 7 in the morning. Right, sir? Yeah. Right on. And then 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. on the East Coast, and then Series 26 right after that 9 a.m in hawaii 12 p.m pacific 1 p.m uh, mountain 2 p.m central 3 p.m in the east coast and ending the day series 6 1 p.m in hawaii 4 p.m pacific 5 p.m mountain 6 p.m central 7 p.m in the east coast so that way all you guys know those are our live sessions for tomorrow brandy has got something planned for all of them i'm not sure what she's doing exactly i do have something planned Yes, I do know that. I, I can't remember what it is. Guys, I'm working on this amazing thing for the 65, which will then be on the 26th. And then it's math equations and like what you need to know for the exam as far as math is concerned, because I know a lot of you see math and you're like, ah! Right. That, that is the that's, exact that's response. The scary. That's the scary part. Yes. That's the exact <laughs> and man, response. There's, there's a lot of math formulas. Don't worry, you guys still know math on the exam. It's just why you use what you use. Yeah, I think it's surprising to some people sometimes when they see numbers that it's actually not a math problem. Yeah. And that's the mind thing about it is that sometimes um, people see numbers and it's supposed to trick you into thinking there's math and there's really not any math. And then they think there's a math problem and there's no math and then they pick the wrong answer. And the quizzes would make you believe that there is a lot of math. There's really not. There's not. So there's that. Yeah. The 65 has amazingly not a lot of math. No, you would think out of 130 questions and the amount of math that you have to like actually bust out the financial calculator for on the quizzes, you 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 freak out about it. I know I lived it. And then you get to the 65 and you're like, I didn't pick up that calculator once. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
Um, but yes, all right, those are the live session reminder. I don't know where you're going now. All right, you ready to go? <laughs> ready to go with it? Yeah. All right, in the news. All right, let's get this thing going. My mind actually had a brandy moment. I just like totally drifted away for a second. I'm back. All right, in the news. Thanks. We're going to do it in the news tonight. What that means is, is that Brandy has scoured the interweb. She was looking for stuff that actually relates to your studying or it's pure entertainment for Brandy. I'll sometimes I'll look at that. Uh, yeah, because if we have some Lego thing, it's probably for her own entertainment. Maybe it made her laugh. But anyways, we'll include it. What am I going to do? Uh, but one thing I do know is it is not securities advice. It is not a financial report. It is not a securities report. It is not any kind of report at all for you to do any kind of investment nor a uh, any kind of, uh, what do I want to say? Research report. Research report. That's the word I was looking for. Nope. It is purely just for educational. If you are looking for something to invest, if you want to invest and you need to roll over that 401k from that old job, Make sure that you meet with somebody that is fully licensed, do a suitability, and make sure you're doing right for what is your, for you and yours. So uh, that is my whole thing there, because if you've got the 65, you've got to be compliant. Yep. You want to keep those licenses. So yep. we want, definitely want to make sure Brandy keeps those uh, 65. Yeah. 65. Yeah. And that's 7. Yeah, yeah. And that's 26. And that's 63. And the 6. And the 6. Yeah. All right. I like flexes, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you want to do a variable annuity. That's about it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, guys. So in the news, um, actually, I got an interesting article from Travis also that I am probably going to talk about. I'm going to include Travis from our, Texas. Travis from Texas. Do you know he's from El Paso? Because why? Because he passos. He passes. <laughs> if you want to pass an exam, move to El Paso. That's you right. paso. That's right. All right, Ariel let's too. go. All right. So, yeah, so Ariel too. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Um, but no, seriously, guys. So we're going to talk about his article tomorrow because it's going to tie into what we're talking about today. We're going to do we're going to do a check in with this as well, guys. I don't know if you heard the news, but Bitcoin is up over sixty thousand dollars again. Right. They hit an all time high today of sixty two thousand. Woo! On the news. Yeah. That the first crypto ETF is going to start trading tomorrow. What? Yes, guys. Um, You've asked for it. The SEC finally said, all right, I guess. <laughs> what if? <laughs> and so there is going to be a ETF. I don't know the name of it as of yours. I was looking for it, but I couldn't really find it. I found more articles, actually. It's done by ProShares, and it's actually not Bitcoin itself. It's actually Bitcoin futures. And the reason why we have to do it as Bitcoin futures and not its actual Bitcoin is because you actually trade futures at, at, in the exchanges. Um, Bitcoin is still considered a crypto and a currency. So you had, so they had to work the, the, the futures side of it. Um, you would have to be in the 65 before we take a deeper dive into futures, but basically futures are like option contracts, but for commodities. That's the way that you guys can think of it. And if you're um, new to studying, a commodity is something that you can touch. Oranges, oil, it's tangible. Tangible, exactly. So on the news that this was basically going to be uh, IPO'd, I guess you can say tomorrow, um, cryptos are up over 60,000. IPO is nothing like BO. If you're new to studying, it's nothing like <laughs> Initial BO. Initial public offering. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and it's giving, so basically what this ETF, which is an exchange traded fund, Get it? It's trading on the exchange, so it's mm -hmm. an exchange traded fund. ETFs, the original blockchain. That's right. Um, it's uh, without having to. It's without having to hold the there? crypto. Yes, I see. Um, directly. Okay, so you could just basically be. You know, you guys can get these anywhere. However, thoroughly saying, am I saying buy it? No, I'm just saying it's available. Again, educational purposes, not saying exactly. that you should. Exactly. We're just bringing you the news. Here. Exactly. So on that news, right, um, I did happen to see that it is now one Bitcoin equals 62,459 and a half United States dollars. So basically you need a third of a Bitcoin to buy a Coke. <sighs> I don't know the math. I, know the math I did see that the way they split it up, though, when you yeah. buy things, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's like point. I hope you're good at your fractions. Is that's it all like I'm saying. Pie? 
<laughs> Dude, I don't know. 3.14, and I don't know the rest. I wasn't good at fractions. Me either, and our kids are learning them right now, and it's like... So I hope they get good at Bitcoin fractions. <laughs> right? So guys, this is what the month did. I, I you know, I looked at, oops, I looked at what um, a month of um, its activity did. Guys, I just Googled it. There's nothing fancy. I just Googled. So it is from Morningstar. And then another thing that I just happened to catch my eye was that the... <laughs> You know, news is so funny. Yeah, isn't it? It's so funny. Yeah, I don't know if that's what I exactly right. say when I watch I mean, the sometimes news. I yeah, have to. Sometimes you have to, right? Because as we're talking about the greatness of, you know, the it's making history, it's its first crypto ETF, ah, da, 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 da. we had um, this influential central banker, John Cunliffe. I don't know, it's your people. Whatever. They're from England, that's not mine. From the Bank of England that said, uh, warning, warning, warning. <laughs> um, he's basically saying could pose a threat to the financial system if not urgently reg regulated, but I didn't, dang it, I thought I grabbed it, but I didn't. Um, basically, the, the um, what's it called? The headline was basically warning of a systematic risk. And when we talked about systematic risk in our live session last week, somebody had asked the brilliant question, well, I think of systematic as being like, you know, first you do A, then you do B, then you do C, right? You're doing it in a system. But systematic risk, guys, is either the whole economy, which this guy is warning about, and I don't know if it's that drastic, or an entire um, asset class. So it's going to affect all stocks or all debt securities, in this case, all financially related securities like um, anything that have, has to do with like currency, cryptocurrencies, that type of thing. So right. systematic, systematic risk is, isn't just the whole market. It's also per asset class. Basically, it, if it goes down, it's taking people with it. Yeah. It's not going solo. Correct. It's, Correct. it's grabbing people as it goes down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Got it. Mm hmm so that's right from the studying though, systematic risk and what yeah, that is. Um, the systematic risk, the exchange traded funds, right? These are all from our studying from the SIE all the way to 65. All the way to 65. There yep. you go, guys. And that's why we do this. We try to like show yep. you the, how this stuff is working in the real world, right. into your studying. And like Brandy always says, like, look, you don't need to follow the news. You don't need to know exactly everything that's going on in the whole business world, but you don't ever want to be caught off guard with a client. If they do ask you something, you don't want to go, huh, I never heard that before. It's not that a good look. That it's not a good look. You yeah. kind of want to, you know, keep your toe in the water a little bit. And guys, if they're asking you about a security that you don't know, there's two things you can say. One, I didn't do my research on that, you know right? Oh, we don't really trade ETFs, so I don't really focus on that, right? Which is true. Which is very true. Like, none of what I'm going to say is that you're lying. Bitcoin questions, it's a currency, not a securities. Exactly. That's an easy way out. Yeah, and the other one is, well, I have a question about my stocks. See, I have my seven, but our broker dealer doesn't trade stocks, right? So that's another common question I get. Well, what about my stocks? Guys, this is what you say. I am not licensed to give you advice on your individual stocks and bonds. I can lose the license that I do have if I try. So it's best that you find an advisor or I'm sorry, best that you find a financial professional or do your own research when it comes to stock selection. Yes, because that is true. Actually, you guys cannot talk about no, individual we, stocks. Nope, you cannot. You cannot advise nope. on individual stocks. Nope. Even with a 65. Correct. So just so you know. Correct. And you don't want to lose these licenses nope no guys, i even tell my family members that yeah no joke and i think it's hilarious i do i tell them i go dude i don't know but so come on them, we're family and she's like yeah but I, I love my licenses right i do and i go i haven't taken the, the proper time to do the research on this so i'm not going to give you any advice by the way it drives my dad insane it does. and i think it's hilarious because he asks me all the time and I, say, yes. I, I can't <laughs> and he'll go come on and he'll say no it's all right no i don't know all right, let's go into the question of the day. What do you got, Brandy? The question of the day. We're going to look at different types of income because I know the particular question that usually gets people twisted. What happens? They get twisted. All right. Are you talking about passive income? I am. And what I am also talking about when it comes- Are you talking to about dividend income? <laughs> 
what I'm also talking about is uh, how it relates to taxes, but more importantly, what exactly is earned income yeah. versus passive income? And then what's investment income? Because we hear those three things and it's assumed that we know what those three things mean. Well, I mean, out of common sense, you know, you would assume that our earned income would be a job. That's income, right? Earned income, right? I had to go do something to get that income, right? I earned it. Oh, I like that. You have to do something to get it. Right? Yeah. And then passive, I did nothing to get it. <laughs> like, you know, I rent out my houseboat. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. If I had a houseboat, don't think I'm a baller over here, guys. It'd be like a Lego boat in the bathtub at this point, but <laughs> our neighbors have a pontoon boat. And every time I pass it, I'm like, what is that thing still doing? I don't think it knows. I think it's just waiting for a good storm. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Anyways, passive income. How did you say it? You do nothing. Right. right? <laughs> you do nothing. Right. I mean, that's, I mean, to be honest with you guys, I'm going to say that 99.9% .9 of us on here right now would love lots of passive income, right? Like literally I sat on the couch and watched a football game and I made money, right? That's what we want, right? So that's how I see it as passive income. But Brandy's going to go in more detail on how it's tested on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tested that's the versus. most important part. Yeah. And then of course we have investment income. And this investment income guys is, yeah, it's part capital gain, but mostly it's from our dividends. And Here we go, dividends. <laughs> right. I bought low and I'm selling high, baby. That's right. And it's mostly from our dividends, right? That's usually what we say when we're living off of our, when we're living off of our investment, guys, we're, we're trying to live off the interest or the dividends of that investment. Okay. Now guys. Papa got a new vet, sold off some dividends, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> sold off some stocks. Right. So guys, you hear in uh, Primerica a lot that, you know, you, you want that financial freedom. You want that passive income, that income that you're not making, that you're not working for. Right. And usually it's in the form of overrides or it's in the form of that, that securities commission that you're getting that you're not no longer working for as far as like the uh, monthly investments and stuff like that. Now, here's where it's different from what I'm going to tell you guys, because yes, that is considered passive income because you're sitting on your houseboat just collecting money, right? Word up, However, fishing. guys, the difference is that you're still getting 1099 for that money, right? Yeah. It's still considered wages or salary or in, uh, income due to a job. You guys think that the CEO or, you know, somebody up like that, like um, who collects like a... Uh, residuals right anybody who's collecting residuals or whatever do you think they're working for that money currently right now for a song that they wrote 30 years ago oh royalties no. are you talking like royalties on a song yeah royalties <laughs> guys that's still considered income but they're, it's passive to them because they're not working for that income but guys in tax world and financial world this oops passive income has to be not from a job okay not from a job, not from employment. Okay. So when we, so there's a lot of things guys that you, that are test world, that's different from what we know in the real world. So it's not from any type of employment at all. Okay. Now earned income. This is the one that comes from like 1099 W2, you know, salary wages, bonuses so if it's like a uh, an exam question or a test question has somewhere in there that refers to a 1099 or a w-2 or salary then you can assume it's earned, earned. exactly you just have to make that connection that's an right. earned income exactly exactly so one of the things one of the biggest like um one of the questions that get asked very frequently is this if you sell dpp Guys, if you're new to studying, this is a direct participation. Participation. Who's still participation? <laughs> We've all had brain farts, Brandy. It's okay. Participation. There we go. Uh, direct participation partnerships, programs. Oh my goodness, Brandy. Programs, because they're also called limited partnerships, right? So if you sell DPPs or if you sell the DPP interest, interest in DPPs, right? Guys, this is considered earned income. 
because you're selling that you are the agents, right? So it's earned income. Okay. However, how it's different. And guys, this is a very common question in Kaplan. Okay. If you invest in a DPP, and it doesn't matter if it's real estate, oil and gas or equipment, this is considered passive income. Why? Because investing in a DPP gets all the perks of owning a business, but none of the responsibility. That's like the best way. Guys, if you haven't got to the direct participation programs yet in your SIE studying or in your six or your 65, just note, investing in a DPP is passive income because it's the perks of owning a business with none of the responsibility. See, that's why it's passive. That's why it's not considered investment income with none of the responsibility. So would a test question be more like a rental? Um, well, this is a very common Kaplan question for sure. Mostly speaking though, this would be a rental house, like a rental property. That's what most people think of when they come, when it comes to passive income is like a rental property, leasing something, right? Um, now investment income again is deriving basically from exactly what we see here, dividends and interest and capital gains, which is the selling of our investments. Selling of investments. We bought low and sold high. Exactly. Oh, wait, selling of investments at a profit. That's how I want to say it. At a profit, right? So this is all the stuff that kind of goes into these things. And, and that's the testable Zoom part of it. just a little bit. More? There you go. More. Is that it? That's it. All right. Yeah. Right. So this is like the best way to look at all of these things and they're taxed very differently. It might be like the, like the green and the purple might be taxed at the same rates, but to tax professionals, guys, it's all very different. Right. To so, us, income is, is income. <laughs> right. Yeah. But not as far as the IRS is concerned. The IRS and the tax professionals will say, nope, those go on very much different lines. <laughs> they, they all get calculated in a different way. Um, but guys, as financial professionals, we're not tax professionals, unless of course you've been licensed to do that, but most of us have not. So therefore we are not allowed to give tax advice. In other words, stay in your lane. Yeah, we can only give rough. So if anybody, oh, it, this is my, my favorite common question. Hey, I need to withdraw out of my IRA. Okay, I'm just letting you know that whatever is not considered um, your original investment is going to be taxable as your ordinary income, which is your current tax bracket and a 10% penalty because you're younger than 59 and a half. Okay, can you calculate that for me? No, I cannot. So a viewer from the chat has asked, uh, how is DPP different from the general um, um, partner or the limited partner? It's actually the same thing. Frank Martinez out there. Yeah. Frank Martinez out there is asking that. Yeah. Um, no, it's the same thing. It's just the overall partnership thing is called DPPs, but DP, but they are, let me put it in orange. These DPPs are sometimes called partnerships or limited partnerships. So it's a classification of a DPP. Correct. It's like saying metal music and then having the classification of hair metal and death metal. It still falls under metal. Right. <laughs> I keep it simple. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so you want Frank, me to put boy bands. Yeah. Is that better for you? Yeah. Thank you. So Frank, just to, there's a big difference between the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. Just saying. is there? Yes. Is there? Yes. Anyways, guys, um, Frank, just to go a little bit further into the question, if you're a limited partner, which for the most part, if you're investing in a DPP, you are the limited partner. That's why you're just putting the money in and then you get to get all the perks out of it. Right now, the general partner is the one that actually is the one that's running the business. And there's usually one 
general partner to a multiple amount of limited partners. Anything else you want to say before we go? Bye, bye, bye. You, you were waiting for that one, weren't you? <laughs> it's killing you. <laughs> 98 degrees. I was waiting for it. Like you're not a lache i don't i know oh, like i Guys. would know i just know the guy that was married to jessica simpson was a lache nick oh was not drew it was nick lache yeah. Yeah. And i saw them in concert he made a wise choice <laughs> what is he a billionaire now i i i saw i saw them in concert it was boys to men in 90 degrees and new kids on the block and i had to go to the restroom during 98 degrees and it took the entire time because of the long lines. Apparently, nobody wants to watch 98 degrees. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, Sorry. that's fascinating. All right. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. I hope you really learned all about that income. And if you are brand new, this is the hijinks that you get when you're on the studying group. But I promise you in the course material on the members, we have a lot more followed by the, you know, we go with the book. We actually kind of, you know, yeah. Brandy's book, by the way, uh, available on CodeWorkFives.com. <laughs> and we go through the material and all that stuff in greater detail and more yes, yes. serious, but there's some fun in there. There is. It is not cheese. boring. But uh, we go through all that. So, but this is the fun we have because we want you to study. So we want you guys to get off of here, go study, get in the routine of it, make this part of your consistency, get this thing done. Let's get it done, guys. We're going to have those live sessions every uh, for everybody tomorrow that are members. And we will be back for the study and brew tomorrow night for Test Taking Techniques Tuesday, Woo! which is awesome because Brandy yeah. is going to give out those techniques to learn how to master exam taking. Yes. Guys, it is the ones that you don't want to miss because Brandy will literally teach you how to narrow it down. So when you get to those questions where you're like, I don't know what the heck I'm reading right now, <laughs> you definitely want to be on those. So we'll be back for that same bat time, same bat channel. Until then, guys, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being on. You guys are all super awesome and amazing. Don't forget your quizzes before you go to bed tonight. Guys, we will catch you all tomorrow. Have a great night, guys. Good night.